right, so I like to use a silk bonnet um, for when my hair is like air drying or honestly, I hate putting my hair up because first of all, it does cause like splitting ends. It's not comfortable. <laughs> Whenever I put my hair up, because it's so like long and heavy, it hurts my hair, my head so much. It gives me such a headache. So I like to use um, a little silk bonnet, anything like that. So let's take this out. And my hair is almost completely dry. I have recently dyed my hair blue black. I love it. Oh my god, it is so beautiful. You can't see like the blue tints yet, but like when I go outside, like in natural lighting, you can see like the blue hints and it's so beautiful. So I want to talk about shampoo and conditioner and leave-in conditioner um, and deep conditioner. <laughs> so I know it's a lot. <laughs> I really want to talk about like my hair products that I use in the shower as well because I get many questions from you guys. So um, I use the Argan Oil Hask um shampoo and conditioner at the moment that's what i'm using um i've been using it for a while on and off i love it good ingredients it's just a go-to you know you can't go wrong i use the macadamia natural oil deep repair mask um it's completely empty i emptied it out it smells so good <laughs> And I also highly recommend the It's a 10, um, this is called Miracle Hair Mask. So, so bomb. I also have the leave-in to this. I use both of these and it really does make your hair really soft. So gorgeous. So beautiful and gorgeous. It smells so good. <sighs> Also, I want to talk about the method I use when I shampoo and condition my hair because I don't just do it normally. Um, there's a very specific way that I wash my hair. So first, I take my conditioner and I put it on my scalp. Yep, I don't go with shampoo first. First, I go with conditioner, like a little this amount. And then I get rid of the resid residue that's on my scalp and then I rinse it out. This helps tame your hair so much better. It controls frizz. I highly recommend this method. And then I go in with a shampoo. And if your hair is super dry, like I struggle with that. Um, not anymore though because I have a whole routine. But if your hair is really, really dry, I suggest putting in a little bit of hair oil into your shampoo. Just a little bit. Just a tiny amount. Shampoo then, just normal. I massage not the bottom. You know, massage it really, really well. And give yourself a really nice massage if you're um, the tip of your fingers because this gives blood flow to your scalp, which promotes hair growth. Also, make sure that your hair is brushed out before you even wash it. Um, and so then I go in with my conditioner, just normal. Um, <laughs> people do it on the ends of their hair. I do it on my whole head because my hair is extra dry, thick and coarse, but up to you, up to your hair type. Um, you know, I recommend from ears down, but I go from ears down and also like a little bit at the top, like a tiny, like I'll take the residue on my hands and put it at the top of my hair. And then I rinse out. And then is when I use my leave-in treat, my leave-in um, miracle mask, this one, or I use this one. My hair type is just straight, um, thick, coarse hair. This is how my hair naturally dries. I use a bristle brush. They're like bristles. I get this brush from Sally's. Um, I recommend using a bristle brush on your hair. Um, I heard that it's better. So I take my leave-in and I highly recommend this one or um, the Silk Therapy. Silk, the Bio Silk Therapy is a pretty good brand. And I've been using this for so long. This is so bomb. It's the It Naturals 12 in 1. This smells really amazing too. They all smell so good. So this is a very bougie brand as well. It's the Uwe. I don't know how to say this, but it's a leave-in conditioner. Yeah, I also have their hair oil. And it's very bougie. That does definitely works. 
um, I recommend it to you. It kind of gives Olaplex vibes. I just wish they chose a different scent. Like, let me smell it. No, this smells nice. It's just a little mature. Like, it's very, I can't explain it. It's just very immature scent. I'm going to spray my hair and I do it completely everywhere. And I drench the ends. <laughs> so after my leave-in conditioner that I just sprayed in, I'm going to use a hair oil at the very ends of my hair. Um, I like the Biosilk Therapy. This is a good one. And I really like this oil. It's an argan oil. It's kind of like the dupe for um, the argan oil from Morocco. That one. I love that oil. It's just that I ran out of it. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna go in with my Bio Silk Therapy um, hair oil. This I kind of put just everywhere. If you struggle with frizz, you will love this product. So, if you made it this far to the video also, I have something to announce. A little surprise, I am coming out with hair products. I'm going to come out with one hair product so far. I'm um, coming really soon. I'm so excited. Make sure you're following me on all of my socials, which will be in my description down below, so that you'll know when I launch my hair product. I'm so excited. I love so many different ingredients like argan oil, I love aloe vera, there's so many different ingredients that I love and there's no product that just has all of that that I like and that's raw ingredients. There's always sulfates in there and stuff so I'm gonna create a hair product where it has all of my favorite ingredients for my hair all in one so i'm so excited and i'm gonna go in with a heat protectant um before we go in with my hair curler so i'm gonna use the tresemme one this one's really good and it's cheap all right honey so this is the hair curling iron that i really really love um, it's a ceramic plate, so I love ceramic plates because they're much smoother on your hair. Um, it's the plug-in GED. This is the little label. Um, I got it from Sally's. Okay, I'm gonna kinda section off my hair just because I want it to be perfect for you guys. <laughs> So I'm gonna section it off a little bit. So I take a section about this big. Start from my chin or my jaw down. And what I like to do is I go up and then pull down. Up and then pull down. I want them to last long. So I'm going to be clipping them with a little clippy like this so i'm gonna do this to the rest of my hair and i'll be right back for the front of my hair because there's a specific way that i do my hair by my face so i'll be right back the way i do the front is i curl all the way to the top almost to create volume and curl away from your face always so i smooth it out like this and then I just wrap around. Make sure you press it like against your head. And I'm going to actually use a clip for this one. Because you want the one by your face to be very voluminous and gorgeous. Alright, so I'm back and I curled my hair on the other side. So I'm just taking my wide tooth comb. And I'm doing the ends, and as you can see, they're so bouncy. All right, top is gonna look crazy, like George Washington, but you will see how voluminous your hair will look once we're done here. All right, everyone, so for the last step, what I like to do is take a shine spray. Um, this is the Giovanni shine spray. It's what it looks like. And I just spray it far away, especially like in the ends too. give a 
huge thank you for watching my YouTube video. Please subscribe, like, and comment down below. And I'll see you in my next video. I love you so, so, so much. Have a wonderful day or night wherever you are in the world. I love you.